Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about wrestling. We're going to talk about wrestling. We're going to talk about the WWE and their quote unquote woke character, Joe Gacy. Uh, Joe Gacy's been canceled already. This is ridiculous. I mean, this is such a commentary on, on how this works. Uh, the WWE introduced a character that is a caricature of the quote unquote woke left. And, uh, you know, he's asking for forgiveness for, you know, being a dude and, uh, his microaggressions and he wants the ring to be a safe space and all, all the tropes, right? All the tropes all in one place. I thought it was pretty funny. I don't watch a lot of wrestling these days, but, uh, it's already been canceled. He's already been canceled. They took him down. They took, they took down all the videos referencing this character uh, who needed a handlebar mustache, by the way. I think that would have been perfect in a man bun. But yeah, they took it down, but we have a little bit of the video that's still lingering around YouTube right now. Uh, very interesting uh, to see this happen. Like, I was like, man, are we, are we there yet? Are we to the point now where we actually can, can poke fun at uh, woke warriors in, in pop culture, mainstream appeal? And apparently not, because like I said, you know, getting canceled a couple days after it was announced, we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 235,000 subs. Thank you for the support. We do talk a lot about pop culture and um, all the weirdness going on in pop culture. This is not what we set out to do. Kinds of things that we talk about in this channel. We didn't set out to do this. It just kind of happened. As pop culture became a battleground and got weirder and weirder, with, uh, well, people like, uh, you know, Joe Gacy, except in real life, you know, um, we started to comment on it and the pushback became uh, very obvious from, from one side of the aisle. Uh, and it changed so quickly. I mean, I would say all of the craziness that's going on right now has been a result of the 2016 election. A lot of it, there was a ramp up to it, but once we hit 2016, people just went full batshit crazy. So we're going to talk about this situation. First, we'll talk about the, uh, the clip itself. Uh, this uh, woke, woke Joe Gacy. Um, now, you can find clips floating around YouTube. They've scrubbed it, apparently. But let's, let's listen to a, a couple seconds of this, okay? Big thanks to uh, Ty Ironclaw, who still has this and uh, tagged me in. Tonight, this ring is a safe space a safe space everybody nxt 2.0 is full of conflict from the smallest microaggression <laughs> to the most heinous grudges this M microaggressions is we settle our differences i come to you tonight with a mindset of conflict resolution where I don't need to use my male privilege to get what I want. <laughs> this is brilliant. I freaking, I freaking love this. Uh, but it's too spicy for the WWE. Go figure. So here's uh, the original article from the New York Post back when, when uh, you know, this character was still around like two days ago. WWE took a jab at the woke left this week when it debuted a new up and coming pro wrestler who preached unity and declared he didn't need to use his male privilege to win, but was then pinned in less than five minutes. And that the network introduced Joe Gacy on Tuesday on NXT 2.0, which showcases its latest stars, according to Fox. Win, lose, or draw, Joe Gacy will bring his safe space to WWE NXT. And if you go to Twitter, that page has been deleted. In his gimmick, the progressive wrestler told the Florida crowd that the ring is a safe space where differences are settled. NXT 2.0 is full of conflicts from the smallest microaggression to the most heinous grudges. <sighs> his woke ideology was met with boos from the audience at the Capitol Wrestling Center in Orlando as they waited for the bout to kick off. I understand, just like you, that life isn't fair, Gacy continued. I believe that we can achieve unity and tolerance for us all. And I can be the man that will show you that we can achieve peace in this safe space. And it starts tonight. However, Gacy's hope for unity was dashed when opponent Cameron Grimes pinned him in less than five minutes. 
No hard feelings, apparently. Gacy continued to express his message by hugging the puzzled Victor. (sighs) Did he ask for consent first before groping him? Former WWE wrestler and NXT commenter Wade Barrett reacted to the safe ring promo earlier by saying that made no sense to me whatsoever. You don't spend enough time on Twitter there, Wade. That's why it doesn't make any sense. He noted, I've snapped my arm in that ring. I've separated a shoulder. I've broken my nose more times than I can count. That ring is anything but safe. Barrett added that Gacy looks at the world a little differently than you or I, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um... I'm really surprised he's not gonna he's not gonna take to Twitter to to uh, troll all of his his haters. Uh, apparently, his accounts gone, or at least the pages promoting him are gone. So here's what happened, according to Bleeding Cool. Uh, it was so funny that they canceled this this character after like two days. Two days. The term canceled has become a prevalent one in our modern society, referring to when a famous person has done something wrong. No, not always. Not always. More often than not, they haven't done anything legitimately wrong. They've just, you know, spouted off the wrong, the wrong opinion to the to to certain people who want to gatekeep opinions. Usually, sexual misconduct or a racially offensive manner in the social media world decides they're done supporting the person. No, no, they're brigaded against usually and driven off of social media, driven out of their jobs. Uh, some of them driven to suicide. So it's, it's, you know, it's a lot more complicated than that. Bleeding cool. Actually bleeding cool should have a pretty good idea of how that works because they participate uh, often in the canceling of comic book creators. But uh, I digress. It's all part of what has been dubbed the woke culture and WWE decided to jump on board this past Tuesday on NXT 2.0 with the debut of a new personality for former CZW world heavyweight champion, Joe Gacy having him portray a woke character. Can we say, can we say woke now without it being hate speech? Cause they're saying woke on bleeding cool. And they are woke having him portray a very woke character who made note of his white male privilege and microaggressions. Of course it went over about as well as any time WWE has created a socio-political character. Uh, well, any use of the character on NXT that can, uh, comments on current world issues would be controversial. Joe Gacy was clearly presented to us as an annoying heel. One who was beaten in a match against babyface Cameron Grimes immediately after a promo where he gave a self-mocking portrayal of a modern liberal man. The new Joe Gacy character wasted no time in catching the attention of the political media, but it seems to have been more the right-leaning outlets. It took a liking to the character. Uh, even though WWE's intentions with the woke Joe Gacy character were pretty clear, now it appears they weren't prepared for the attention it received and have seemingly canceled the character by removing any videos featuring him from YouTube and any mention of him from their social media. This is an unusual move for the company, just as he debuted on TV in under a week. But while the WWE of the past would have welcomed any and all controversy uh, as eyes on the product, the current WWE is very cautious and media sensitive, doesn't want any heat from any group, be it political or otherwise. Yeah, they don't want any violence at all in their uh, professional wrestling, none at all. I think it's because they're trying to sell the company. Yeah, right. That's what they're trying to do. Anyway, uh, yeah, so canceled after a couple of days. Maybe that was the joke. Maybe this is the joke that they put this character up and he got canceled. Uh, I didn't even hear about it until today because of uh, Ty's tweet. That's the only reason I heard of it. I didn't even know this character existed. He's already gone down the memory hole, but uh, I, I thought it was pretty funny. I thought it was pretty funny. Of course I did. (laughs) I'm the wrong kind of person, I guess. I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.